to go over wheelchair cushions. This is often a very um, difficult part and uh, can be a can provide extreme comfort or you can be extremely uncomfortable. So I want to make sure that you kind of understand your choices. Your choices are air or gel, basically, or a combination. And so what this is, is this is a Rojo cushion, also a brand name, but this has air sacs in it. And these are little two by two cells that have air. To make these the most comfortable, what you can see is the bony parts as somebody sits down, We'll take it, we'll uh, depress, and then you'll get support in the other parts of the body. Okay, so what I want to go over is how to inflate your Rojo cushion. This is a very important piece to maintaining the care of this product and the comfort for your loved one. You do want to check the air cushion daily. You typically only have to fill it up with air every two to three months, but you do want to make sure that it isn't too low or too high. If they're too high, they feel, tend to feel uncomfortable and unsteady. If they're too low, then it's not getting the advantage of the cushion. So this is a pump system. You put it over the uh, air inlet, and then you will fill this as much as you can to where the cells are um, as high, as full as they can be, so that they uh, are over, looking over air. So after you have the cushion aired, you're gonna just let the, the nozzle uh, stay open, and then let it just pressurize to uh, our air. And you can imagine that would be different in different elevations. So after about five minutes, it'll be pressurized to the right, um, to, to what would be an inflated position for this cushion. Okay, so now uh, after we have let it uh, equalize uh, the temperature and the pressure, we wanna make sure that the individual feels comfortable. If they feel like they're sitting too high, then you just need to um, open the valve and let a little bit of air out. If you feel like they are sitting too low, we can add some air at this point. What you're looking for for comfort and ideal is that you're going to take your hand underneath the individual's tailbone, which would be the bony part of your uh, body or your sit bones, so at the base of the spine or on your sit bones on either side, and you want to make sure that you can only wiggle your hands about one inch up and down. So as all of the cells are being activated in this posture, we should be getting more force, but only one inch of movement with the fingers to allow it to make sure that we're not going too low or too high. Okay, the last type of cushion is a gel cushion. And again, this is the cover that will go on it, and these can uh, be, uh, these are in, uh, allow for incontinence as well, so you don't have to worry about um, uh, the soaking through. So on a gel cushion, the only trick to this is as you sit down all day long, it tends to press out and then you are sitting on uh, not the gel anymore. So every morning you have to come in and massage the uh, gel back into the position so that when the individual sits down, they have the gel where they need it to underneath their sit bone.